All right, fellas. I uh, picked up some stuff from the old uh, Clark's Tool there in Kansas City. I figured I'd go ahead and give you a show. What do you think? First off, I got these here uh, retractable magnetic leads. 30 footers, because, I mean, we do have trailers and shit like that, so. With 30 foot, you can pretty much reach whatever the hell you want. Part number on this, 1138, 27 bucks. Less than a dollar a foot. Never had to pull it out that far. Hold the top, twist the bottom. That was a lot of work. So, yes, these come with other names on them. Uh, Mag Tools, Snap-on probably is under Blue Point. Maybe it's under Snap-on, I don't know. I don't spend a whole lot of time on the Snap-on truck. It's very expensive in there. Uh, I know Matco rebrands these. Uh, probably Cornwell too. Cornwell might not actually put their name on it. They may just carry the Langlands on the truck. Good stuff. Uh, the old electrical connector separator from Lyle. I want to say this was like nine bucks maybe. Made in USA. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Part number on that. 13120. So you got your uh, Go straight at her and your reach around. That's all you need. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? USA right there. I love that old Lyle Corporation. Lang, made in USA. This is a uh, 5 16ths and uh, 10 millimeter, I believe. Yeah, 5 16ths, 10 millimeter. Uh, the other day I was screwing around with a battery and it was. You know, couldn't get a wrench on it worth a crap and uh, had to resort to the socket. This right here is the uh, wrench socket. So, yeah. It, extra long handle too, because why not? I mean, so much, it's tight. Part number on this, 6571. I did pick up this uh, ESI. I call them ESI. I, I don't know why. ES. But, uh, Electronic Specialties Incorporated, I believe. No, it says right there, ESITest.com. But uh, this is uh, part number 143, and it is a test lead kit. So, banana jacks, all your different, you know, little, little automotive connectors. There's some uh, back probes there. Sharp. Ew. Flexible back probes. Yeah. Uh, that's the ticket right there. I'll probably end up getting rid of this case and, you know, getting me a one of them slimline packouts or something like that and throwing all this shit in there. And, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure how good these are. I mean, I, I've got a fluke, so I don't know that they would be any better, but they can't be, you know, any worse than some of that other crap that's out there. Yeah. Yeah, just regular poker, big ol' alligator clips. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Yes, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of probing. Oh, look at that. Handy dandy. ES-190. All this shit can be found at Clark's. You might have to call them up on the phone, but, uh, they have a website now. Their website's getting a lot better. Uh, the old Relay Buddy. So, they have a relay that you suspect is crapping out on you or whatever. Uh, I gotta do is plug it into this guy. I'm gonna run some tests on it. And tell ya, yay nay, junk or twat. Uh, it's that. It's that simple. You got your four pin over here. Your others are five pins. So, you know, four pin, five pin test. Hook it up to the battery while you're doing it. Yeah, it's really self-explanatory. Super, super easy. And uh, definitely. Let you know your relay is junk or your relay is working and it's something else. So, yeah, another great little diagnostic tool there. Oh, look at there. Warranty and registration card. And the case. It's got the dangle strap. Good to go. And finally, for the diagnostic portion of the uh, Clark's Tool Hall. Uh, PP kit O3S. This is the master power probe kit. Yes, I never had a power probe. One of our techs there at the shop 
he's got a power probe and uh, I've got to use it. It's uh, pretty fucking handy and uh, makes me wonder what the hell I was doing without running around with one forever. I almost picked up another set of these until I opened this and saw that they were in there. Because uh, they were only like 25 bucks or something. Got a couple little pack, uh, a couple little spade connector testers there. Get in your fucking hole! Mm. Yeah, that's covered under warranty. There's a little short detector. But you know, that comes in the master kit. Long set of cables. And battery hookup. There's the old power probe right there itself. That knife go. Put that damn thing up again. And yes, that is why that craftsman knife has lasted so long as I lose that fucking thing all the time. Where you little bastard? ECT short transmitter. Oh. You need that to work in conjunction with that. Yeah. The short, a medium, and a long. Yeah, I also got some uh, other tools. Part number 28680. Yes, these are the Mayhew professional hose clamp pliers. Stuff, stuff and things. We got a big one here for you, just to kind of. Ooh. Yeah, it does fit. As I say, it won't fit radiator hose. That's kind of fucking gay, but yeah, it does. So yeah, all you do, get her lined up there, and then uh, squeeze her. Let's do this left-handed since that's the way I would normally do it. So, squeeze her. And this right here. Damn you, cable. This right here actually moves and clicks. And that causes that to clamp and stay clamped. Ratcheting cable clamp pliers. Pop her open and let it slide. It won't do that when it's on the hose. Yeah, it doesn't just fall off, but you know what I'm talking about. I was watching a CP Tool Addict video. I think it was like his uh, favorite tools or something like that. Or uh, stuff he needed to buy from the tool truck or whatever. But anyway, in his video he was talking about <coughs> you buy the snap-on ones. Because even the cable is warrantied through their lifetime agreement, so or through their lifetime warranty, even the cable. Uh, I was talking to my Matt guy because you know I was like, "Hey, are your is your shit lifetime guaranteed or whatever?" And um, he did have the Mac ones that he could order, but he said, "You know, with these, as long as you store them the right way, uh, you're never gonna necessarily screw up that cable." So. You take care of your tools, your tools take care of you. And he doesn't have to worry into your shit. Makes him happy, makes you happy. I mean, everybody gets along. And now, as you can tell, because I highlighted it, they made these specifically for me because you're supposed to wear goggles. Yeah, Mayhew. And uh, these were the pro ones, I believe. You can also buy these uh, cables. So, if you do screw them up, uh, you can replace that cable. Uh, Mac does have some cool ones of these where it's just this portion of it and it's a screw thing. Uh, I don't have those, but yeah, we'll, we'll see about maybe getting some of those one of these days. Oh, uh, I also picked these up for a buddy. I did get these because I got another set. Uh, these right here, as you can see, are the half millimeter sizes. 22 and a half, uh, 21 and a half, and... 18 and a half, 19 and a half. Now why the hell they didn't just do 21 and a half and 22 and a half on the same socket? I don't know, but it's one of those things. Um, Gray Pneumatic are the ones who make these. See right there? GP Gray Pneumatic. It says right there, for use with damaged lug nuts only. Square safety goggles. Um, obviously you can use the 22 with just 22 millimeter lug nuts, they don't have to be damaged, but I mean, I'm sure they put that on there for the 22 and a half. Swollen lug nuts, it's kind of a deal, and when you don't have these, you have to tell your buddy, hey, can I borrow those lug nut sockets? And uh, they let you do it, but you really you need your own. I've only ever used the 21.5 and the 
And that doesn't mean the 22.5 isn't ever going to get used because the 22s do have those crappy ass chrome lug nut sleeves. You know, the pretty that goes over the top of the lug nut. And that should just rest and whatever. For the longest time, never had to use these. It is what it is. And uh, there's a story about even these coming up uh, later in a different video. And I think these were like uh, anywhere between 11 and 13 bucks, I think, for each one of them. All in all, 40 bucks for the set. <sighs> Pretty cheap. Uh, I'll. I'll look for all this stuff on Amazon and throw links down in the description if I can find them. But, um, you know, I'll leave a link down there to uh, Clark's Tool also because they beat Amazon prices a lot of times. And, you know me, it's not about getting guys to buy shit off of Amazon. It's about the lowest fucking price. A lot of times Amazon is the lowest price. Uh, Clark's beats Amazon most of the time. You guys really need to start going over and hitting up Clark's Tools and uh, seeing their prices before you actually buy shit on Amazon. I mean, the only thing Amazon has on Clark's, Clark's doesn't have free shipping. You know, like me, kiss my ass, I'm just going to drive over there because I love that place. Aha! It's in the hoodie pocket. Bastard. Yes, at Clark's they do have the uh, Nipex hose clamp pliers, but, you know. American when you can. So, 3977. Angled straight hose clamp pliers. Now, I don't know about you, but you know, I, I can tell that they're angled, and I really do not need to know the sexual orientation of these pliers. But I mean, it's nice they put it on there. Uh, these are locking, so get it in the right place there, and she'll lock. Now, why do I need these, and why do I have those? Different tool, different job. I mean, come on. And sometimes you have two clamps. So, sometimes you need two hose clamp pliers. Small end goes in there. Big end goes on here. Oh, you tricky bitch, you... So there you go. Get your get your little guy in there, your big guy on there. Let go of the lock. As soon as you start squeezing her, she starts coming down here and clicking, and she holds it. Mm. Let's see if we can go one more time. Oh, just can't get it there. That's right, because that ratcheting is spring-loaded, so you only go back uh, half a tooth or whatever, you kind of get it. Look at that, that's precarious. But, uh, it works. Now, uh, let's try not to lose any fucking teeth. And let it go. Yep, see? Yep. Still, got, still got all your teeth. Nice. Yeah, uh, different. Same clamp, different position in different jobs. Sometimes you need three or four of these clamps all at the same time. You might need different pliers. And I got the angled ones because uh, you had one in there the other day. These would have worked perfect on. So, And we didn't have those and it was a pain in the ass getting that hose clamp off. Uh, with those, it would have been a 30 second deal. Uh, without those, well, it took a couple of guys, you know, 10 minutes and <laughs> We went through probably about seven different sets of pliers trying to grab a hold of this damn thing. So, yeah. Right tool. The save you money in the long run because it saves you time. Again, USA made. And uh, part number 3977. And for almost the last tool in the Clark's tool and equipment tool haul, the uh, MB4533. It is the uh, vacuum kit for coolant. This one does run off of shop air. Anyway, basically, take this guy right here, throw her in. Da 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 da. Have your shop air come in. Uh, you put the vacuum down on the whole system. Uh, 
kink that nozzle over there, shut the air off, pull this out, drop this guy in, like so. Throw it into your bucket of coolant or, you know, gallon jug, five gallon bucket, whatever you got laying around in fresh, clean coolant, not the dirty shit that you pulled out. And uh, this will suck it all the way up through the entire system. So, <clears throat> yeah, uh, very handy dandy little tool on refilling that uh, coolant system, not getting the old uh, airlock in it. Because uh, a lot of the newer shit, a lot of the newer shit, it, it's just hard to burp it. Uh, so many small air pockets and shit like that. And, yeah, it sucks. Get a hot pocket in there. And, you know, it's not the pepperoni or the ham and cheese, so it's not any good. Uh, you know, they come back when you get hot pockets in them. So... Yeah, no hot pockets with this. And there's one more thing from Clark's. And uh, you wrench guys might actually like this. There it is. The gear wrench. Indexable. Not indestructible. Indexable. They did have to order these for me. They don't keep them in the store. But they got there like a week early. So, part number 85488. Uh, yes, they are indexing ratcheting wrenches. And they are... They are flippers, and uh, just like gear wrench, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Made in China, uh, lifetime warranty. We'll test that out, I'm sure. So the difference, big difference between these and regular flippers. These you can actually pull over to the side, click it, and get in there, and wrench just like this. You know, tighten that bolt up. Now, you can swing it in this unlock position here and pump it. Just like the indexing ratchet I had on here, I don't know, a week or two ago. Now, these are flippers, so, you know, they only work one way. You have to flip it over to take it off or to put it back on. If you're taking it off this way, when you go to put it on, you're going to have to flip this over this way, lock her down, flip it over, and then get that angle on it. They do have the anti-slip tooth or two in there. They're not real aggressive, but I mean it is there. Can you see that? It is there, but it's not super aggressive. So. Meh, they come in their own little wrench holder. I'm gonna go nuts with this shit not lining up. I mean, come on, how fucking. Pay the kids a little bit more and have them line the shit up before they send them out. So these are uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. It's a pretty big little set right there of the uh, ratcheting flipper wrenches. Now, I do have flipper wrenches in my box right now, but the ones I have are actually those cobalt gearless because they get such tight a turn on those. Now the drawback is you can't hear them ratchet. You don't get that assurance that you're actually moving that bolt or nut whenever you're using those cobalts. So, yeah, I figured these little indexing, it's a nice little feature. They're also flippers and they're longer. So it was enough of a difference to have me warrant the purchase. So yeah, uh, not cheap wrenches by any means either. So if you're looking to get a set like this for 50 bucks or whatever, <laughs> keep on dreaming. That's not going to happen. Cheers. Yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe, love, hate, hardknocksforge, gmail.com, and send me any paintings. They never fit.